Okay, pile's getting low. Um, um, let's see what we can derive that? from this. Mm, let's see. Ooh, look at look at that. That reminds me of that Tonka we had once. Yeah, cool. mm -hmm. Oh, and this. Movies. Look at look at. There's there's this is old Kag Benny. Uh, no, that's um Mustang, the Mustang. capital. Oh, that's that's a long one. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look Ooh. at that. What about yeah. just stuff that looks old and weathered and Ooh. aged <laughs> outdoors? We have a lot of that stuff that just lives outdoors. That aren't your parents? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try it. So we're going to do aging and patina. All right. One of the ways that you make a story seem like it has been going on for a long time is by taking the objects in that story and giving them a sense of history. When an actor prepares to do a role, they don't just prepare to say the lines that they're gonna say when they walk on stage or when they're in front of a camera. They prepare an entire personality, an entire history for themselves that leads to the moment when they walk on stage or walk in front of a camera. Storytelling objects are the same way. They need to have a sense of their own history, a sense of what happened to them before the moment you got there and you saw them. So one of the ways you do that is with patina, with aging, with these signs of wear and tear that tell us that something was there for a long time before you got there. That means the story has been going on and you're just joining the story rather than it started in the instant that you, you got there. Now patina can be real. It can be the result of actual wear and tear. Uh, this has been sitting outside for a long time. The paint has peeled, the wood has split, little pieces have fallen off. Um, you know, the color of the wood has bleached out. That's a real uh, process of aging. This, on the other hand, is, you know, kind of new. It's handmade. The copper uh, on the forehead was brand new. The wood was brand fresh. Um, the, the fabric was shiny and brand new. All of this has been artificially aged to give it a sense of age, a sense of time passing. Same thing here, by the way. This is a bronze from Nepal. It's not old, it's not some antique. All this um, is a deliberate chemical patina uh, that is added to the statue to give it this sense of antiquity. But it all does the same thing. It stops the object from being something that just started right now. And that means the story didn't start right now. The story has been going on. And only under those conditions where you understand that something has been going on for a long time, can you join into a story? That's why Animal Kingdom, which is about a whole bunch of stories that don't really have a beginning or an end because they're wildlife conservation stories, they go on and on and on. That's why there is so much patina in that park, to show that all the stories you encounter are also caught up in time, caught up in history and caught up in the forces of nature. And that as long as you're engaged with these stories, you too are caught up in time, caught up in history and caught up within the forces of nature.